Hey, my name is Ket Ng. I help lawyers help people, and on my own time, I make video games. Cool. What is the theme of this game jam? The theme of this game jam is legal aid and social justice. This is largely assistance that organizations will give to people when they cannot afford to hire their own lawyers or other legal representation. Now why, why this theme? Why not, you know, two buttons or the theme of growing? Why th this one in particular? Since the game is going to be interesting no matter what, we may as well try to add a little bit of social value in there with them. Now, um, what kind of social value are you hoping to get out of some of the, the entries? So I'm largely thinking of in three areas. Some games maybe will directly help people learn about ways that they can solve the problems that they might not have known otherwise. Other games maybe will help lawyers learn how to do their jobs better or more efficiently. And maybe a third type of game that could come out would be a game that would educate the public about some of these issues that people face every day that they might not otherwise be aware of. Hmm. Interesting. Now what got you interested in helping people understand the law? So part of it is obviously through my job, that's, I do that every day, but also my family has had a history of working in social areas, and growing up I've always enjoyed explaining things and teaching people, so it sort of felt like a natural meshing of things I like and things that have sort of been influential on me growing up. So okay. now I understand how you got into legal aid and you know, teaching people about the law. What got you into video games? I've always grown up with video games, and I've always had the idea that I think these games are good, but I think they all have some flaws, and in games, like, it's easy to say something's bad, but you gotta, if you want to make changes happen, you have to do them yourself, so I feel like the best way to make games that I want to play is to make them myself, to show that's possible. Nice. Um, and so it sounds like this game jam is just kind of a natural progression from your, your work as well as your personal hobbies. Exactly. It's, it's been nice that it's, this is the first time I think it's really sort of naturally flowed together. I've tried to do some other small things in the past, but this has just sort of felt right and it seems to be going really well right now. So what is your ultimate goal with this game jam? So I sort of have two possible outcomes that I want. First of all, if a good game that gets support after this, if at the end of this game jam there's a project which looks good enough to get continued support, then I count this as an unmitigated success because the cost of normally developing a game compared to the cost of game jam is just one good game is all it takes to make this worth it. The other thing I think would be extremely valuable is that if we can get game developers and legal advocates talking to each other, that will open up a lot of opportunities to create helpful games in the future, which I think, again, a single game more than justifies everything we're doing here. Cool. Can you tell me about how this event was orchestrated? Um, it's a lot, of, a lot of people in the shadows that don't probably get enough credit. I. I asked them, asked lots of people, called in favors, and everyone has been extremely supportive. So we have about half a dozen people on site that are making this happen, but off site, there must be like dozens and dozens of people that have all promoted this event, given advice, you know, helped find good deals and find locations. It's been a huge group effort to make this happen. Who are some of the major players in the group effort? Um, Obviously, I have to thank my boss, Brian Rowe, who's also here helping out. His boss, Sue Entreman, has uh, been a big help and also decided to show up. And she's participating in the jam, which is exciting because she's never been to a game jam before. But at the same time, the local Seattle indie community has been huge. They've not only shown up, but they've helped promote it and helped give me ideas. They've run all the game jams in the past, which have built this event off top of. Um, there's also been the local businesses like Unity, the IGD Foundation, Oculus, many more I probably can't remember at the moment that have just either given us money or material support or just general help in promotion. So it's sort of been a, everyone helping. Cool, very cool. It sounds definitely like a group effort. 
Can you tell me about the venue that you're doing this game jam in? Yes. They're perhaps the biggest sponsor. Living Computer Museum is this Paul Allen Foundation has put together this amazing museum which goes back like 50 years of computer histories and working machines. So you can go, I can use the mach every machine I've grown up on just upstairs here. And machines from before I was born, before most of the people I hang out with were born, all functioning in this building. And now just recently they opened up this new wing, this gallery where we're hosting this event has got a bunch of really cool uh, exhibits on video games, which is of course of personal interest, but also like self-driving cars and VR and all these things. So they've been a huge support. They've been extremely helpful in hosting this event and others within the community. So they, they cannot be thanked enough. Awesome. How did, how did um, this game jam come to take place in this venue? So due to some unforeseen uh, issues we had a previous venue had to change and so we were sort of desperate we were knocking on a lot of doors and the living computer museum was extremely helpful they just said well you can just do it here for free and that was pretty astonishing given the quality of this venue so we just immediately signed up and like they just ran us through the paperwork and we got situated and got on the road like immediately which was really astonishing Awesome. Great. Cool. That should be anything. Is there anything else you want to add about this event or hosting it or anything like that? I just want to thank all of us. In addition to our sponsors, the, honestly, the biggest, the people that really make this possible are all of the attendees because they're the ones that are putting in all the hard work. We put in some hard work ahead of time, but they're going to spend 48 hours just trying the hardest to make something that's honestly never been made before. So. Those are the people that are really, this event's all about. These are the people that you should be looking up to. Yeah. These, are the, these are the true heroes. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, cool. Kit. Thank you.